I'm Neil Spells, and welcome to Mopac Movement, and I'm here with Mike Heiligenstein, the Executive Director of the Central Texas Regional Mobility Authority. Mike, we've got some milestones happening out there on uh, Mopac, and between 183 and 2222, tell us about that. Yeah, uh, Neil, the, that, that piece is uh, getting close to uh, seeing some pavement, and that's a big milestone for us. Uh, you're going to see pavement coming in uh, probably the first week of June. We feel very good about that. We've had a bit of a delay with some rain. But that's going to have a big impact on our drivers uh, trying to get from uh, the 183 area, uh, Palmer 183, and all the way down to 2222. Uh, what about the drivers on Mopac right now? How will this benefit them? Well, right now you've got a construction zone, essentially. You've got all the barricades there. You've got the safety uh, uh, warnings. Uh, and you've got some lanes that are now blocked off, uh, auxiliary lanes and exit lanes that will be opened up. So you're going to see a uh, much better flow of traffic uh, in that stretch. And we think that's going to show the drivers in Austin that this project is close to seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, let's talk about that light. When should this paving be complete? We think the paving will be complete by the end of June on this segment. And then they're going to uh, be able to hopefully ramp up and keep going south very soon. Okay, that means we'll t look at something happening uh, between downtown and 2222 coming up. And we'll, we'll talk about that on the next MOPAC moment. I'm Neil Spells.